Good evening, Facebook, and to all of you out there in the Claire Smith community. Um, it is evening, and this is a rare time for me to ever do a Facebook Live. So as you are, as Facebook is building an audience for me, um, I will go ahead and introduce myself. Some of you will come on this um, if you've never heard of me before. Like I said, my name is Claire Smith, and I am a Facebook, or I'm a blogger, I'm a speaker, a writer, a fitness instructor, and um, I'm here just to share some encouraging words for you, hopefully, this evening. I'm gonna give you a little bit of insight into my own life personally. Um, about what happened today and I thought you know what this is a training time a real-life insight into my life and I have some words um, some things on my heart that um, I would love to share with you so if you're here um, welcome um, you could always say your name well you don't have to put your name because Facebook already has that on here but you could maybe say what state you're from that would be lovely to hear or country because we have that as well and um, yeah, and hopefully I won't have any problems with these the comments going to spam because for whatever reason lately it's been enjoying that so okay um, and if anyone asks I got my shirt from Re uh, refit revolution Jesus loves everybody I'm sure I'll have a couple questions on that and I can link that later okay so I titled this Facebook live we're gonna get right into it because I know that a lot of us have other things going on this evening um, when plan a doesn't happen for the day for life in the area of health, which is what I typically talk about, or maybe anything else, okay? And so I know that there are a lot of you who are in this position, and maybe it's just because of the holidays, or maybe because of just a crazy season of your life, or um, something beyond your control. And so this is very real life, and it was kind of a little bit real life for me today, and again, I kind of just want to share that with you. Um, would somebody mind making a comment below? I would love to see if somebody is on, um, if my comments are working or not. Uh, sometimes we've had issues with that in the past. So if you could just say hi, that would be fantastic. I'm sitting here in front of my Christmas tree because the lighting this late at night is not that great anywhere else. But hey, Christmas tree lighting works. <laughs> and it is, tis the season, festive, right? Um, so anyways, yes, if someone could say a comment, that would be fantastic. Hey, Candace. Candace, girl, you're on here all the time. I love it. Hey, Tara. Okay, perfect. Um, hey, Melissa. So that's working. Great. Thank you so much. And another Melissa. I appreciate that. Um, okay. Hey, Monica. Ohio. Hey, Avon, Ohio. Not too far from me. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. And if you have questions or anything you'd like to say, I usually try to answer those at the end of the, of the Facebook Live. So here you go. Here's the setup. And you guys can tell me if this is real life for you. So you think the night, you know, you're going to bed and you're thinking, um, I am going to work out tomorrow morning during this time. I need to run these specific specific errands. I need to uh, go purchase these extra gifts for my kids' school teachers, <laughs> um, et cetera, et cetera. We have all these appointments, right? And then you wake up and then something happens to where your plan A um, just unravels and it unravels pretty quickly. So I know that I'm not alone in this. Now, there are sometimes then it's, you know, maybe it's a bad job of, on our part of scheduling, but then there are other times when I feel like uh, it's, most of the time, it's other people, it's external factors. Okay, so today this happened to me. Now, my kids' last day of school is on Friday. So this week is really insane. We have lots and lots of extra things, lots of concerts, uh, teacher gifts to purchase. Um, I'm volunteering left and right at the school, not to mention just a lot of stuff that I do here on the blog. And um, my daughter woke up this morning and she was sick and um, she was not feeling great. And so, you know, I was trying to be the best mom possible and I put some um, essential oils, we use the essential oils uh, from Young Living and worked those on her a little bit and waited a little bit longer. Uh, we went into school because I actually was volunteering that morning and about an hour and a half into it did not feel great. Now, honestly, my first reaction was, oh no, this is not gonna fly because it's gonna throw off my whole day because it was fairly um, packed pretty tightly and now you start this shift game and moms you understand this it's like what's the priority what do I have to get done how's this all gonna fly now for somebody who really enjoys um, working out that's kind of a big part of my day it's kind of like my anxiety pill it's kind of my stress relief um, to take that out of my day is one of the very last things that I try to do um, but today in fact I'll let you know
know that this health and fitness blogger right here, um, I skipped a workout. It didn't happen. It was a regularly planned workout and it didn't happen. Now, some people are really thrown off by that. And I know this because my coaching clients, we talk about this a lot. Um, they kind of feel like if they can't do their program to the 10th degree or to the full extent, then it really spins them off and then they're like, forget it. Um, I can't seem to handle this. But um, I want to kind of let you in on some tips and, and some mental, some mindset types of things. Um, so, so basically I was then at home all day with my daughter, lots of errands to run and was not able to do any of that. Um, instead, I stayed at home with her. I took a small little nap. I kind of caught up and I feel like God maybe kind of gave me this just to get a little pause. I've been running pretty um, intense over the past few weeks. So I do believe that is a gift. Um, but the first thing I want you to know when your plan A doesn't go in, on in life or in your day, and again, we can look at this at a broader perspective too. And I don't want to just talk about health and fitness. I mean, you guys know that, that my whole heart is not just to talk about this external part, but it's also to talk about other areas of life. And so we know this to be true, that there are things that we have that happen in our life. As a matter of fact, on Sunday morning, my pastor that we love dearly announced from the pulpit that he has cancer and it rocked our worlds and um, still is. And so we found out some more information about that today. His plan A for what he thought his life was going to be, um, especially, you know, even just in the next month, um, is really not happening and it's changed and it's different. You know, how do you respond to that? Another girlfriend, a dear friend of mine, um, just texted me today, went in with a biopsy uh, in fear of uterine cancer. So I just got that text earlier today. One of my coaching clients today, um, she was telling me that um, she was planning on moving and was getting, hopefully going to be getting married and just found out about 10 days ago, right before she was moving, that her boyfriend, um, was no longer with her because he was with somebody else. Her plan A is totally unraveled. The list goes on and on. And I wish I could say that this was rare, that these kind of things didn't happen in life. But this is kind of the normal. This is the life that we have. And so again, these types of things, this type of advice that I'm giving you is not just in the context of, you know, I don't want to say small cookies like your health, I missed my workout today, or I didn't get to go to the grocery store, or I didn't get to go to this party or something like that. I mean, that matters. Those little things matter. I mean, it's all things that add up in the grand scheme of life. Um, but I do you know that there are also bigger issues, more deep issues, heart issues, and you know, of course, that is exactly what I'm after um, when we talk about these things. Okay, so number one, I want you to know this is kind of real life, that this this is happen, this happens. So whether it is something like your daughter gets sick, where you're not able to have your workout, where you get that phone call um, that is just destroying to you, um, this is kind of the normal anymore. This is kind of the real life. Um, and, and in particular, in a health context, and to you mamas, um, I want to talk to you right now that have little kids. Um, there are definitely times in life when it's just so much harder, seasons of life that you just don't have as much in control. And I want to affirm you and just say, it's okay. Like, don't get anxious about the fact that you can't get your workouts in all the time um, and that you're going to be like, oh, I just, I didn't get it done. And, and therefore, something is going to unravel even more. Um, it's just a season of life for you. And a lot of times it's how you react to that. That's going to be the most important thing as opposed to the fact that you actually just missed the workout. Um, and so I just want you to know this is real life. It happens to us, okay? Um, I want you to know that it's okay. Again, I want to affirm you and let you know that it will be okay. You have a group of people around you, whether it is a small context with your health or in any other way, um, that there is always people around you who love you and support you. Um, number three, and I think this is really important, Satan we want to talk about the spiritual part, Satan will try and get you super anxious about this thing. Um, okay, so today I felt the anxiety start to creep in. Today I was like, oh, like you really don't understand. I wish I should have brought my, my to-do list just to show you. I put a big X on it all today. I had it so tightly packed because um, I had so much to do. Um, but I feel like Satan really wants to work that anxiety factor on you. And so it's kind of like this um, unwrestled, unsettledness. And you've got to be able to kind of step back and say like, that's not going to happen to me. Like Satan, you're not gonna ruffle my feathers. 
And see, he likes to do that. And when he wants to ruffle your feathers, when he does things like that, then that triggers and affects other things in life. And see, we really don't want that to happen. So whether it's, again, the small context, uh, maybe in the area of health that you missed a workout or that something happened, or in this larger context where you get some news in your life that just shakes you up, um, Satan is going to try to work that anxiety level. And so sometimes we've got to remember where our real battle is. Often it's not just with the issue at hand that we have. Um, another way, another thing that I do is when these times happen is I kind of ask the question, now what? Right? So today, um, when this happened with my daughter and my schedule went all over the place and I'm like, a workout isn't going to happen. This isn't going to happen. The question is now, now what do I do with this? What is the best way for me to move on in the day? Is this going to ruin my day? Then ruining my day for multiple people, right? So you know, and especially moms, again, we have high influence in our families. And so if our, if our um, feathers are ruffled, guess what? that usually triggers over into other people. And so we wanna be super careful about that. We wanna make sure that we realize that we don't have that. So the better question is, instead of being like, why did this happen, why did this happen? Um, it's kind of like, now what? Now what is gonna happen? Lord, what are you teaching me in this moment? What I have found is that um, often, some of the biggest blessings um, that I've had in these times where my plan A doesn't work, um, it's actually a bigger blessing, whether it's somebody else that I have come in, it's extra time with my daughter, um, it's some divine appointment that the Lord has set up, that it absolutely is fantastic. And so we have to just do our best and know that there is blessing that comes with these pauses, that God, again, is sovereign over all. All of this okay as I'm telling you this my daughter is behind the screen trying to make faces at me <laughs> I think she's feeling better so anyways um, <clears throat> but we don't want to get rattled you've got to kind of intentionally say I'm gonna take a deep breath right now and then know that you influence I want to read you a scripture and I've said this often I've had a lot of coaching calls this week um, and this verse has come to mind a couple times um, Proverbs 14 1 says this the wise woman builds her house but with her own hands the foolish one tears hers down do you understand how much power a woman has? Let's say this again. The wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears hers down. Okay, so we want to be wise women in our house. We have a lot of power and influence. I don't know if you guys feel that or not, um, but it's the truth. And so when these days happen, when plan A doesn't happen, us as women, we have that choice at that moment to decide, are we going to be a wise woman? Or are we going to be a foolish one? Because sometimes our response and our reaction to those specific things will make the biggest difference. And that should empower you. That should really empower you to say, you know what, I am going to take care of this. I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to put it in perspective and we're going to move forward. We're going to move on. Um, often I always say the biggest thing is not that you find a fall off the wagon. It's just when getting yourself back on it. You know, what are you going to do to get yourself a little stronger to get back on the wagon? And you'll find the more you fall off, because I fall off a lot. <laughs> um, you, and then when you crawl back on, it's just going to get, you're going to get a little stronger at that. You're going to understand like today typically would have really, really, really rattled my feathers, ruffled my feathers. Um, a lot uh, in the past, but God has been teaching me a lot this year, um, a lot about really appreciating the moment, appreciating the people that I have in my life and about his sovereignty. And so by the grace of God, I was able to kind of step back and say, we're going to do the best with this. Okay. So I think that that's really important to remember when our plan A does not happen for the day. Let me ask you guys this, if you wouldn't mind kind of giving me some feedback when your plan A doesn't happen. And again, this could be in a small context, whether it's just in your day, something doesn't go right. Uh, maybe you don't get your workout in for you. Workout now such as myself, um, maybe a bigger context. Maybe you get a phone call that just rattles your world, that just shatters it even. Um, you know, how do you respond? Do you find that yourself is, do you find that you, that you get anxious? Um, are you, do you have any fantastic tips for people who um, maybe go through these types of things? What are some things that really help you out? I think sometimes um, our community of women who is fantastic on this site has so much wisdom. And so I would love to hear that. So 
Yes, Lindsay, hi. Your plan A hasn't happened a lot since becoming a stay-at-home mom. Yeah, girl, I, I echo that one. Let me tell you, I feel like I should do another Facebook Live. I was a corporate America girl who had a nice job and everything that I wanted to go, it went, and then I stayed at home with my, I, I quit my job and stayed at home with my son. I was like, what? <laughs> Nothing went planned, so I understand there was a hard transition there for me, and um, for sure I had to learn this lesson hard. So, oh, you wanna say hi, Lila? Mm -hmm. Okay, come here. So, my, my daughter, who wasn't feeling great today, she just wrote me a post-it note, and she wanted to say hi. Okay, so look here. Can you say hi? Hi. <laughs> Are you feeling better? Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, so, yeah, she wasn't feeling great today. She's in, um, Lila, tell them how old you are. Seven. You're seven, and what grade are you in? Second. Second grade. And you did get to do your snowflake shop today, huh? We did get to go to school for about an hour, but then we had to um, come home because <laughs> someone wasn't feeling great. So anyways, okay. So our plan A, often it does come off track. And if you guys have any tips on what you do to kind of get yourself back on track. Now, let's talk about tomorrow. So today happens, right? So I'm ending the, the, near, the, end, the evening. And I'm processing. That's kind of how I do life. Um, I At the end of the night, I do a quick inventory of my life. And I just kind of say, how did you do in the areas that matter? And that's my faith. That's my um, marriage. That's being a mom. That is um, taking care of my health. Um, it's taking care of my friends, the, the people that God has put in my life. And so I kind of do a little inventory and I think, okay, what's going to happen tomorrow? And it, and it works really great uh, for me to really set the tone as I wake up. And so um, tomorrow we're going to get back on it. We're going to get back on. Today happened. Um, didn't get a workout in, but I'm not going to sweat about it because I know that there's many, 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 many other days that my workouts can get accomplished. A lot of you women, you would be derailed by this. Even if you have two days in a row, even if you have three days in a row, I just want you to get back on as best as you can. Don't overshoot it. Like go out for a walk or do something like that. Um, let's see. So when your plans fall apart, I take some time and pray. I always look for the silver lining to be grateful for. Julie says one moment at a time. That's so good. I totally agree with you. Colleen says, reading the first five app in the morning has been helpful with my anxieties. It encourages me to read the Bible. Yeah, the first five app is a really great tool, guys. Um, super, um, as far as that goes. Um, hi, Diana. It's not that I slipped. It is about getting back up. That is right. And that's the one thing if I could tell all my clients. It's not that you slipped. Like, l listen, guys. Let's think about it as a Christian in our life, okay? Um, we know that we are trying to be holy. We're trying to become more like Jesus. That's just uh, once you become, you accept Christ in your life. That's our goal. You're going to slip up. We're not perfect, you know? So what do you do when that happens? And maybe this is a life parallel for you. You know, maybe this is a hard area for you um, to come back to the Lord even in your mess even when you feel like you haven't done it perfectly and so in the same way in your health I want you to do the same way and everything else Candace says his mercies are new every morning we need to grant ourselves the same grace amen that's so true Candace that's a fantastic verse in uh, Lamentations that is mercies are new every single morning and so God gives us that and what a blessing Lisa says it's so easy to fall off the diet wagon this time of year yeah Oh yeah, that's so, that is so true. You let your kids fall off the wagon. If you fall off the wagon at 2 p.m., how do you, how do you not stay off the wagon at a Christmas dinner? Well, it depends. Is a Christmas dinner a social thing or is it you're just saying at home? I mean, I feel like the whole eating conversation at the holidays, maybe I should do another Facebook Live on this, but it is, let's just say it's not Christmas. Okay, so let's just say you have a rough day. You wake up, somebody at work is like, we have beautiful Dunkin' Donuts donuts here. And you're like, man, I didn't eat breakfast. And those look really good. And I haven't had one in a while. So then you have a donut, right? And then at lunchtime, everyone's like, let's go out to lunch. And you go out to lunch. You're like, I'm going to get the salad. But the person orders the cheeseburger and fries. And you're like, oh, that looks good. And you get the cheeseburger and fries, right? So then you're like, I'm just doomed. I'm doomed for the rest of the day. So then what am I going to do? Um, I want to encourage you at any moment of the day, you are empowered to make a great decision for your health. If you think it just has to start at 6 a.m. and stay that way the whole day, then uh, no wonder you always have problems with getting back on the wagon. Um, at any moment of the day, you can make a healthy decision. I, I have to do this all the time. I'm, I want to let you guys know, just because this is what I talk about doesn't mean I don't understand your real life. Um, I have moments all the time where I can kind of go off plan, if you call it. Um, and so I do. There will be plenty of times at 3 or 4 p.m. where I'm like, oh, that was not a great eating day. Um, and so I'm able to control that as best as I can. I mean, I do make a lot of the decisions um, at my house as far as eating. So now if you're going to a Christmas dinner and it's a, so a social thing, that may be a little more difficult. You don't have control over that. And, um, you know, it, it, 
that's a whole nother, I feel like that's a whole nother Facebook Live. So Lisa, I don't know if that answered <laughs> the question at all. Um, but if you would like to say more on that, absolutely. So anyway, my whole point in this Facebook Live as we come to an end um, is that plan A, what you originally wake up in your brain for, does not always happen and it's okay. Like it's life, you guys, it is. And I don't wanna ever sit up here and, and try to act like I'm not, like I'm perfect and that I have it all together. Um, my life is an easier phase of life in a lot of ways uh, that I can control some things, but I'm also a real person living amongst a lot of people <laughs> and priorities and I have to live my priorities. And I think that's maybe the challenge is that we always have to come back to what that priority is. Um, and so know that it's okay. Know that Satan is going to try to get you super anxious about the fact that you just fell off the wagon, right? So don't get anxious. Don't let Satan have that foothold. We've talked about this before. He's going to try to make you worried. He's going to make you feel guilty. He's going to say like, oh, of course, girl, there you go again. You messed up. You can't do it. Um, you got to fight against that. And then, as I said, Proverbs 14, 1, I'm going to read it again. It says, the wise woman builds her house, but with her own hands, the foolish one tears her down. It's an empowering verse. It is an empowering verse. And especially on those days, again, when things don't go your way, when things don't go as planned, um, this is where this counts. This is where this scripture counts. But see, the Lord helps us in that. And that's why we got to start our day out with God. That's why we've got to start out in some fourth fashion. You know, some of you may have more intense study in the morning. Some of you may say that at night. But you've got to see it. You've got to wake up and you've got to ask the Lord to give you the grace for the day. Candace, as she mentioned, the mercies for the day and um, and, and to, to be able to walk in the spirit. And that's really the key. I'm not perfect at it. The Lord is gracious enough to uphold me and to, to help me as I walk through things. So anyways, that is totally it. Um, so let's see. Yes, live your priorities. That's right, Julie. We definitely want to do that. It helps us to remind yourself of those priorities on a regular basis. Always. You've got to always check it. That's why I was telling you guys at night, I do a little mental inventory on my priorities at night. I mean, I've kind of just gotten myself into this into this mode, discipline to do this. And you can write this down. I mean, if you want to put it on a journal, you can, but you need to, you need to be introspective. You need to be like, what really matters in life? I can say a lot matters, but am I actually living what matters in life? And so Touching point, my one of my my favorite Bible study leaders um, at one of my churches used to say that she would keep a short account with others and a short account with God. And so keeping this short account, meaning like, is everything okay? <laughs> uh, whether it's, you know, just relationally or financially or health wise, um, if you can keep that short account with others and that short account with God, boy, you're gonna find a lot more strength and power in that day as opposed to just waiting these long periods. And so that really helps me. Um, to get back on track so we'll see what tomorrow brings the truth is we don't know what tomorrow brings okay we don't know the Lord knows this week I have a lot of friends in my life they tomorrow brought a lot of stuff you know it was not good which then impacted me because they're dear in my life and so that makes us such a big difference such a big difference so anyways okay do you guys have any final questions um, anything you would like me to do a Facebook live on before um, or between now and the holidays or any other time um, Lila would you like to say anything no. okay <laughs> Um, any other questions while you got me here? Oh, and tonight I was supposed to be at a prayer meeting, which was a bummer because I really wanted to go, but we decided um, I should stay home with her. And instead, I'm talking with you guys. So it worked out okay. It worked out great. Any other questions? All right, guys. Well, I think that is it, if that is all. So I want you to hang in there. If your plan A did not go well today, it's okay. It's all right. Go to bed, pray about it, wake up in the morning, and let's get right back at it again, okay? Let's not let Satan have that, that foothold or the stronghold, um, and let's be empowered to be wise women in our house, not foolish women, okay? All right. Thank you, Marianne. I appreciate it. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, we will chat later. If you have any questions, just leave them below. I'll come back and uh, touch base, all right? We'll see you. Bye.